Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Oh, it's been a long time since I recorded an episode. I thought you viewers probably got the last one not too long ago. So, no, not playing Wind Waker. Stop going to the menu screen. Anyways, what you want to do is destroy this rock here where they just place the bomb there, or you shoot it like in Link's Awakening. Which I love how you can shoot bombs in that game. I mean, it's just amazing. Anyways, you can destroy some rocks up there to re reveal yet another heart piece. Not gonna need that anymore. But you do need your Gale Boomerang in order to pick it up. So, use the Gale Boomerang to pick up this heart piece number nine. Because we need tons of heart pieces. And I'm a crazy addict for this game. Once you blow up this rock, these chickens will start wandering around to Kariko Village. So, in case that's something you're interested in, which I will be later, uh, there you go! Now there's chickens! And no, if you attack them, they will not uh, send an army of chickens at you. If you attack them, you may control the chicken. Huh. That's about it. Anyways, draw on your iron boots to go underwater. And of course, we have a breath meter, so we can't stand here too long. But then after uh, you go underwater, you can get heart piece number 10. Oh yeah. And then swim back up before Lake Drowns would be a very good idea. Oh, uh, I love the water in Twilight Princess. Well, I like the Mario, I mean the water in Super Mario Sunshine. Yes, I do like Mario too. That ain't so obvious. But oh man, as far as water goes, Twilight Princess, Uncharted, Mario Sunshine, and there's so many games that just get water right. Anyways, let's equip the Gale Boomerang, and let's head over to the left. I know we already got the bugs in this area in Kakarigo Gorge, but we did not get the, well, the other item I'm very well interested in. Which item will that be? Well, you'll have to find out, I suppose. So let's go ahead and go that. Ugh. God, dude. Seriously? My first day recording this in like a month, I get the freaking mailman. Uh. Ooh, a letter. Ooh, two letters. I guess you're, you have your usefulness. Oh, I'm glad your business is concluded. On you go. Please, go that way. Don't come back for a while. Uh, okay, so let's see what letters I got. Oh, yeah, I forgot to read Oko's letter last time, I suppose. Well, at least Oko is happy spending time with us. That's good. Sorry if I read a little too fast. English class kind of made me do that. Oh, of course I'll be nice to him. Oh, new sundries in Kakariko Village. You know, like a shield and uh, the Hawkeye's mask, which is very good. Bomb arrows. Yeah, he tells you how you can use bomb arrows in this game. You don't have to hit both buttons like very close to each other like in Link's Awakening and get off. You can just combine it like it did earlier and use bomb arrows! Of course, this relinqu relinquishes your supply of bombs and arrows at the same time, but very well worth it. And they are so useful in this game. Huh. There's a treasure chest down there we can use. I mean, not use, but you know, get. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the other side, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Forget it. Let's go to the other side. Uh, we, we're not going to be able to get that treasure chest for a very long time, but remember that treasure chest for later, because we will be coming back later to get that treasure chest and everything. Alright, so I'll just circle around, okay, stop about right here, and let's go ahead and grab this shiny thing at the very top of this rock, because it is heart piece number 11. Hey. No, 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 get back on opponent, Link. Okay, because we want to, oh, basically turn ourselves around and go back to Kakariko Village. Not that we are going to be getting anything from, uh, yeah, this what are the Moblins. Who cares about them? I mean, Boko Blitz. I have a, oh, jeez. Yeah, you know what, screw you. Ah, darn it. Go away. Come on! Yeah, go away. At least those arrows are good against those guys. Okay. Yeah, use a few arrows to kill them, though. Run away! Run away! I don't feel like fighting them all right now. I 
really don't care. You can use your sword once you get too close as well, like a spin attack when you're on a Pona. I, I, I don't care at the moment. Alright. Now we got 11 heart pieces. Oh, that's not all. <laughs> they are, there is more. So let's go ahead and leave Kakariko Village uh, this time around. Because there's more stuff we can get. Yep, of course, in the fields we fought King Bolden on. You know, that giant guy, the giant Boko Blit on a... Oh, if you can call him Boko Blit. You call him Boblin, Goblin, whatever. King Bolden, we fought him over here, if you remember correctly. And so this time, there are lots of goodies we can get here. And I bet the mailman's gonna bother me once I go into those fields as well. Okay, let's see. Bomb arrows, which makes it a lot easier to get rid of debris and rocks and stuff that are all little crevices that we can't get on. Thank God, because in no green of time, that was a little annoying on Death Mountain. I had trouble with that, because, well, obviously I'm not that good at it. Alright, just climb up these vines here that just conveniently grow on the side of the mountain, because it's very nice that way. Uh, I am excited for the next Zelda game. How it's gonna be, I'm not entirely sure, but I am uh, excited for it. Yeah, watch your step there, it's a little dark. Now, instead of throwing a bomb, shoot a bomb. Makes your life a lot easier. And, for God's sake, don't fall down. Falling down is not something you want to do right now. Alright, get up there. Good, there we go. Now, we want to go down here. Watch your jumping, because... Let's see. Yeah, okay, good. I want to make sure I'm not going to jump and kill myself. I've done that before. It's not smart. And inside this treasure chest, we can get heart piece number 12. Because that's exactly what I want. Equip some regular arrows. Oh, jeez! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't do that. You lose a heart, and it sucks. And it takes away some time as well. And a pony is way further away from me, so... And don't jump down the cliff unless you're sadistic and like seeing Lincoln Payne or something, but yeah, don't do that. Ugh, an opponent is so far away from me. At least he can roll and get there a little faster, that's a good thing. I need to look at my map and take a look at these bugs in the first place. Let's see, there's one bug to the right, and then there's another bug up to the left. Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and do that. It's easier if... Oh, there he is. Uh, of course I have freaking... Come on, you want to go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, this one's a grasshopper. Come on. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Oh, you little bastard. Go away. Okay, try walking up to the grasshopper. Ha! There we go. And we get a male grasshopper. Oh, the grasshopper! You shall be useful in my bug collection. And trust me, you do want these bugs. As much as you don't want to hear me say that, you do want these bugs. Anyways, go up to the top of this hill here and park upon about right over here. Because near the top is a, a female grasshopper. We can bring them together. And they can mate or whatever. Ugh, I always have a hard time finding this one. Thankfully, it's getting sunset on me. Bugs around here somewhere. I just, I suck at finding, oh, there it is, there it is, I see it. It's a lot easier to find these damn bugs at nighttime. Come on, come on. I know you guys want pieces, but you can't touch this because I say so. And I think it's too awesome to touch. Well, injure, anyways. So he does go through a lot. Ah, oh, you damn pea hats. This is why I hate these things. I mean, no, these are levers. Why do I keep calling them pea hats? I hate the damn levers. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just went for my collection. That sounds wrong. Hey, people collect bugs. There's this guy in a pet store at the mall that I was uh, take. Oh, okay, basically, I was hanging out with this girl at the mall. Very attractive girl, by the way. Anyways, I uh, think like this guy at the. Uh, will you guys stop? Leave me alone. Oh, I get so sick of you guys. 
So I was hanging out with this girl at the mall, and there was this guy that was trying to get me to hold a spider. And I don't care what he said about the spider, I was not interested in holding the spider. Yeah, watch out for these labors. They are very, very annoying. So he tries to get me to hold the spider. We were talking for a little bit, and uh, he started talking to me about his bug collection. And how he has so many bugs in his room that he probably lost count and stuff like that. He knows exactly how many bugs are in every case, and he was going on his list of bugs, and... Oh, I did not see that there. And not that it was disturbing or anything, but I prefer not to collect bugs. If you know what I mean here. So, collecting bugs is not my thing. But there is somebody in this game that will want to have bugs. Okay, just go ahead and get... Where is it? Where is it? Did I even get it? Oh. Okay, and here we get the male phasmid. Because, uh, it's a phasmid. They're fantastic. Okay, man. Yeah. Okay, let's go this way. There is, uh, one more bug I want to get. This bug's a little harder to see if you're not careful. Oh yeah, if you have any business with Kariko Village left to do, do not rock up, oh, walk up to those rocks yet. If you have any business left, it'll be a long time before we get back to Kakiriko Village. You'll see why in a moment, but if you have any business left to do, do it now! Because I am warning you, you will not be able to come back for quite some time. Okay, let's go ahead and get this bug down here. Yeah, this bug's on a wall. I... I missed this bug my first time. But this is the female phasmid. Looks like a stick. It's a stick bug. Yeah, they like it. It's a stick. What more is there to say? So, I wonder if I can shoot it from here. Oh yeah! Boom! I, I did get it from there. Once you destroy those rocks, we have some little Twilight friends that will come down and visit us. Oh. Or they'll just take our damn bridge. Yeah, just like the map in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, they take part of the Bridge of Elden. And there is nothing we can do about it for right now. So that's why I said if you need to do anything in Kakeruga Village, do it now. Well, after you get this, after you blow up the rocks, there's no way you'll be able to do it. Okay. Now we have to fight these guys while not being both linked. Huh? So a couple spin attacks, well, get all these guys in one hit. Do not leave one alive. Like remember earlier, they'll, they'll just revive themselves. And it really sucks. So don't leave them alive. Oh. Well, that sucks. Links to the hearts, but now we can't go back to the Kariko village. This is how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Well, my cookies, I don't want them crumbling, because I'll eat my cookies. Especially those double stuffed Oreos. Those things are freaking amazing! You could stick around and fight all these guys, uh, if you really want to. But the thing is, I do not really care. So basically just follow the path all the way up to well, this wall. Alright, Epona. It was nice knowing you. Uh, find your way back to the Oh, actually, I think Epona's pretty much stuck here. The bridge is gone. It sucks to be Epona. Only one more few shadow left. Yeah, last of the twilight we'll see, I suppose. Oh, well, I'll survive. Oh, well, I do! What do you think I'm gonna do? Stand here and stare at the freaking wall? No, I'm gonna go! Although the wall is pretty pretty. I mean, it's really pretty. Actually, if this was standing in front of me in real life, I'd probably be staring at this thing for quite some time. Uh, yes, but now please, lightly grab me and put me through the wall. Don't finally grab me like a mean person. Oh, jeez. Gosh, she could be a roller coaster ride, I swear. Or some sort of ride at an amusement park where she uses her arm to grab the children and move them around. I thought we'd have to make up flying health and labor forms that we're not responsible if your child gets shocked or hurt. <laughs> yeah. Alright, back to being a wolf. Just help me. You'll have to help me? I'm helping you, just return the damn favor. Gosh, we're being such a... Ugh. Jeez, Midna. Is it really the last I'll see? Are you trying to hint at a spoiler? Well, let's keep going. Yeah. We want to keep going, because now we need to... Well, we're gonna have to be a wolf for quite some time. 
So as much as I would rather be in my elven form, well, we're stuck in our wolf form. I might as well just keep making episodes until I finish it, so, yeah. Huh. That looks like Ilya's knapsack. Yeah, the one she had on her leg. Don't know what she had in it, but, you know. Yeah. Kinda miss you now, Ilya, I suppose. Oh, come home safely. But what if I don't want to come home safely? What if I want to come home injured so you can take care of me, like Peter Parker and the Amazing Spider-Man? I don't know if he technically didn't go home, he went to her apartment, whatever. I like the Amazing Spider-Man movie. No, oh, yeah, I would smell the girl's items. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's another clip. Thanks, Miss Obvious. So, will we be able to find Ilya, or will we get lost trying? Find out next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Have a good day.